Hi everybody, this is going to be a sort of an extension, but going in a different direction from today's Daily Dharma. So it was talking quite a bit about friendship, sisterhood, and uh, concentrating on what really matters about self-expression. We also got some energy of caretaking, self-care, self-expression, believing in ourselves versus the accidental or overlooked impact of any type of negative self-speak or thinking that uh, people don't want to feel or don't want to hear what we have to say or that they don't approve of all of the the various different parts of us, right? Oh, I have a, somewhat of an itchy nose. I don't know if that's a message for somebody here. Uh, let's go ahead and take this in a different direction. Uh, talking about some interpersonal relationships, representing yourself, we have this willow, two of forces, talking about regeneration after healing, which did kind of come out earlier. So empowering solar plexus chakra in this case is like um, somewhat of a, a feeling of low vitality in recent time and feeling more back into your body, back into your essence again. Yeah, clearing the way. So something's clearing up and you're starting to come back to yourself. So there may be some type of recent huge tower event or or sickness doesn't need to be super intense let's see what's crossing you at this time seems to be something in regards to needing to be worked out the karmic trench comes out with setting your course so yeah there's some type of karma being reevaluated and then this overcoming, see there's that uh, rainbow in the background and the telescope looking out into the future. So, yeah, that's the three and the four of scrolls, which is the knowledge, swords. So three and four is recovery after illness and uh, looking for the way forward, contemplating any type of options or opportunities. So what is it that's at the foundation here, what type of relationship, because we do have the friends there, but what's the, the issue? Okay. We've got caught in the ruins, Uriel and the Sphinx, lightning bolt and on track. Let's get a more concise message. Something's on track. It doesn't make sense, but there's this epiphany moment or a breakthrough moment, some type of something that has just recently changed or been revealed. What is the foundation here? Okay. Now we have just the journey card in general. So maybe you felt like you've been off course. Something made you feel like you had to take a detour or maybe there were, there was something such as a lack of focus in a clear direction that has kind of confused the manifestation at this point. Well, leading into this, because this is the foundation. So looking for the direction, understanding why things happen in this way. But crossing you now is the ability to, to plan a new way forward. And setting your course with karma and then this journey down here is it's really giving taking the bull by its horns and not letting yourself continue to play small or to let things develop around you without taking a firm and, and consolidated um, effort, making an effort for what's best for you. You have to look out for your own best interest in some situations here and to believe that you have it within you. So for some of you, maybe you and a friend or you and a colleague are up for the same promotion. And yeah, in the past, you may have been one to be like, oh, well, you know what? I don't care where we got to eat, whatever you want. But in this situation, if you're up for something with somebody else, the the lesson here is perhaps to, to know when it's your blessing, not to go and hand it over to just anybody, but to make sure like if, if it's a situation where you're both up for the same promotion, you've got all the experience, but they're golfing buddies with the person that's going to be deciding who goes in, it kind of brings up some other 
other issues, right? So I just say that as an example. Uh, we have paths unknown underneath, right? The need for clear direction, the need to understand what this moment means. So it's like, you've got all these skills. So let's say in that hypothetical that your best friend or best enemy at, at the job just got the promotion that you were more qualified for. And so in this moment, instead of uh, being resentful and staying in that in that company, if you bring more to the table than that other individual, then if you don't have a non-compete, for instance, signed to um, the present situation, it would be an option to then take everything that you bring to the table and to go a different direction and to align with someone who who operates based on truth honesty and justice and um, elevation based on merit type of a thing. So let's see what's over the head, the hopes and the manifestation. What is it that you're looking to bring forward here? Okay, we have loving elementals. So from the seven to the three of roses, loving elementals has this child. So for some of you, this may have to do with whether it's in a relationship wanting to have children or doing it for the children, making some type of a choice because of someone that you are caring for, whether that's yourself, because we had such self-care here, um, taking care of the vulnerable, the emotional resonance. And we do have conception here. I'll just give you a quick look here. So somebody's making some decisions based upon where you want to go. So you may have been stuck in a karmic relationship here, regenerating from that, wanting to have a certain outcome and feeling stalled or that the options were there, but it wasn't coming through. But your objective is to create something new out of this, something new and exciting and full of life. So underneath at the time of that one, we've got the two Akashic library. So you, you may feel destined to create something or you may feel some type of back of the mind or even front of the mind type of urge that says, I'm here to do something incredible or I feel like this is right or this is not right. And so this urge to stand for something here in order to protect or provide for or to empower the ability to be sovereign or to be free in some type of a way. So behind you, what are the recent developments that are coming into this situation? First one out is this master artisan, eight of keys. It very much could be to do with your work or your calling and feeling that you're not getting the appropriate rewards for the efforts that you're putting in that you've been overlooked or taken for granted in some type of a way. Uh, but you are a master of whatever it is that you're asking about here in some type of a way, or you are very close to being recognized for some type of mastery. So whether the promotion is available in the current context or whether you need to take a longer view about what is the potential to elevate whatever it is that you have the potential to birth in this moment. So with this eight of keys, this master artisan, there's also the king of forces. So it says again with that king energy that you're bringing a lot of elemental energy into this moment. So you may be developing something based on a lot of inspiration, a lot of resourcefulness that you bring to the table that other people don't because the king of forces is someone who definitely can inspire and cultivate and push and has a lot of charisma. So if you're, for instance, like a salesman, saleswoman, or something like that, marketing, advertising, or networker, any of those type of things, the king of forces is somebody that really brings a lot to the table and is able to, to create something that really takes off with that fire energy. The Buddha prepares. So you're, you're prepared to either 
speak up or make a move to assert your value or to um, even speak up for yourself or for another's value or, you know, maybe you are going to bat for somebody like nominating someone, something such as that or yourself. There's the need to support something here that's going on. And yeah, the Buddha prepares. So it's almost like you've been limited in some type of situation here in order to understand where your prosperity does and does not lie. And part of your message or your lesson in this situation may have been to, to recognize what you truly bring to the table and how to activate that. Maybe it's a time to go out on your own in some way. But you've been prepared, you've been enlightened as to where your destiny lies. And I think you're making a big decision as far as that goes. So what are the energies coming into the near future here for you? We have uh, summer and winter. So this may be a time of, of cultivation, gestation with that conception here. It could be literal for some, but for the rest of you, it may be that you are really taking your side hustle energy instead of your main work and feeling called or compelled to, to be your own boss here, to boss up and to develop yourself over the next season here. Now we have the queen of forces to be your own savior, to be your own completion. So if you've already been doing all of these various things for somebody else, um, how can you apply that to somebody that is aligned with your values in some type of a way? What else for the near future? A few more cards describing this breakthrough energy. All right, you're seeing something quite differently. It looks like underneath the deck, we've got Archangel Raphael, number eight. This eight year 2024 reduces to an eight is a powerful, empowering year for, for things, karmic patterns that come back around, that karma comes in the infinity loop of the figure eight, right? And let me just check my timer. Okay, sorry folks for the covering of the camera. So, so there's this development and the Archangel Raphael comes through to, to help us to clue in and listen to the heart space and what truly lights us up and moves us forward. So the cards coming out, oh, this is so beautiful. So beautiful. On the top here, we have 20, will, wisdom, and mind. You've come to some critical conclusions. You've learned something quite profound on the spiritual, mental, emotional level, and you've really been able to have some type of experience that has helped you to understand what it is that you truly value and what it is you truly want out of the next part of your journey. And it's like uh, you're really putting so much of your personal passionate energy behind birthing this new way of being in. And it very much is ushering in new soul contracts, whether that's friendship level, whether that's new partners on the intimate level, new business and new clientele. Because I want to point out that with the master artisan card, we're also getting a few others, namely this intricacies in industry with balance here. So this is getting karmic balance. If you've been waiting on a development in the legal spheres and for instance maybe maybe it's been important to to balance out a business plan to write it out to figure out what your cost of goods is and do some of this incorporation or partnering up and designing contracts for other individuals or or something such as that. There's some type of legalities that may come in. And for others of you, you may be going through either a divorce or a marriage proceeding here. Even prenups are called in with this type of information. But I see it more in regards to business propositions coming in in this particular reading. 
but with the caveat that some of you are also looking for uh, something on the family level. This could even be that your the work that you're doing is somehow serving on the vulnerable populations or something like that, or maybe in social work or or fostering, adopting, or even pets and things of that nature, taking care of the environment or the earth, any type of earth stewardship is absolutely well starred with this loving elementals card. But with intricacies and industries, we can see that you're laying a very firm foundation here. And I'm hearing there's a song that, um, I don't know the name or the band, but it, the chorus goes, um, it's probably Rising Appalachia, I listen to them a lot. But it's something like the house don't fall when the walls are good. And um, what is the next part? It says something, something. If there's a crack in the foundation. Uh, yeah, so there's something that's foundationally needing to be rebuilt, needing to kind of be cleared up. Remember, we had that clearing the way. Something's got to get out of the way so that you can move forward with whatever is lighting you up, whatever feels your spirit feels that prosperity and abundance and lighting up you feel passionate about. And so here we have also the Ace of Cups, Ace of Roses here with the Commitment card, which is a soul contract. And so it doesn't need to be super intense like... Uh, we're signing away some type of karmic entanglement, but it can be writing some very three-dimensional legalities or contracts to do work together, taking on new clients, like we've said. So let's see. I'd like to get some more down-to-earth messages. Let's go ahead and let's jump into the DIY cards. We're at 17 minutes. Um so it looks like you're planning some type of change, either in job or relationship or friend groups or or even the way that you make your money, the way that you style yourself or express yourself in some type of a way. And it looks like you're really bossing up or supporting someone who's bossing up. So I don't know how this is happening for you, but let's see what other influences... Can we hear? Okay, yes, absolutely. So the first one I'm seeing that comes right over this Master Artisan card here, it says, taken for granted. You've been taken for granted in some type of a way. You're not getting what you've been deserving of recently. And it comes out with U, V, W, X, Y, or Z. Could be some of the initials related to the person, place, thing, or something other initials. We have copycat. Anything you can do, I can do better. Follower energy coming through here. So, oh, this is okay. This is for me. It's telling me about two individuals. One is more of um, a, an intimate relationship with a partnership potential and the other with uh, an acquaintance energy, somebody who admires what I've been doing, but is better at I mean this with, with all due um, compassion, somebody who admires me but um, has a better time uh, marketing because this individual moves with the trends, which is fine. That is great to ride the algorithm. It's a very efficient way to move to the top of your game and gain prosperity and attention. And if that is success, then that is truly amazing. But um, then I see this happening and other people overlooking what I bring to the table because of its complexity and um, with the element of being to the side of the mainstream. And that's fine. I think that we need to make sure that we don't take ourselves for granted. And if if this is bringing up some resistance energy, if in the case that I just mentioned, like my situation, perhaps we're being told to look at something in a new way. It's like, yeah, I get that this is sort of harmless, but it's calling me to, to recognize how this individual is flowing with something and gaining some type of 
prosperity and how um, I choose to either just uh, engage some type of envy, jealousy, bitterness energy there, or would I choose to then say, well, how can I alter and and move with different elementals here and keep being the trendsetter for where I choose to go? So wheel of the year again with the seasonal changes coming through. I think in the new year, all of this eight energy is really working out so much of this old karma that you're going to know very clearly where your newfound developing destiny lies. And so don't let anybody keep distracting you or encouraging your energy to be drained into any of these directions that that don't serve anything it doesn't build to go and see i mean let them follow you're still the one in the lead so keep looking forward don't look back over your shoulder at these individuals so now we're getting uranus yeah going your own direction being your own revolutionary rebel or whatever and flow positive mental attitude keep yourself uh forward facing and upright i'm hearing using the the law of attraction law of abundance and acceptance of the situation um and keep on aligning with what your true calling is because that's the long view something that you can feel proud to support and to to birth into being something local coming forward here anything else that needs to be talked about Okay, I'm seeing the sixes. Oh, that's a big kind of fallout energy here. We do have Q, R, S, and T coming out here. And with that, we've got 66, 66 rebalancing. The ancestors may be sending signs and synchronicities, so make sure to stay alert. Now we have 33, 33. This is your own personal solar plexus energy that's on the desk here talking about your own glow up energy and your self mastery and self actualization process. There are some mother issues at play here. And because of this taken for granted, there's this being overlooked and uh, being possibly the caretaker for others energy versus uh, maybe even for some of you, not all don't take it if it doesn't doesn't fit but with this mother energy it may be that the mother was for some of you um caught up in people pleasing energy themselves or inability to be strong in an empowered and cooperative supportive way to you and feeling without support lends you to then expect it and regenerate it and here we have psychic attack. So guard yourself, reclaim your power from any type of illusion. Uh, somebody's looking at your pictures. I think it's this person that's trying to follow your energy. So this other stack. So reclaiming your power from that, um, you may need to employ some types of energetic protection, energy, evil eye, mirroring type things to just let those people go and make their own decisions instead of, you know, staring after you and being a little internet spy. Um, even with uh, some of your, you may have an ex that still feels unfinished business. So you may need to clear that information out and that resonance out and uh, maybe cut cords in some way. Reassess your reasons for busyness and prioritize the goals that are meaningful for yourself. You're getting caught up in some type of distraction or maybe somebody's cords are kind of pulling you back, not wanting you to outgrow them or outpace them. Somebody's feeling competitive with you. Yeah, it may be somebody who thought that you guys were going to get married. They thought that there was a lot of chemistry. Um, and this may even be somebody new coming in for others of you. They may not completely look the way that you would expect. They may be presenting them, themselves as a very uh, kind and friendly individual, but there's some depth here that's, yeah, 
some type of depth and sadness here with that card. So there's a past life influence at play, and that may be the karma here that you are needing to overcome to step into this more heartfelt development, and for some of you to move forward with something that is uh, does have marriage and chemistry associated with it. And now we have what is what would your best friend say? So maybe you've been seeking some guidance from friends here. And with this energy here, there's very much, if this is romantically or or otherwise regarding a promotion or being chosen for something, there's the need to stay to, to, to understand how much you bring to the table. I'm just going to say it that way. Because if you play small and um, don't go out for even putting your hat in the ring, putting your 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 application or your CV or resume out there, then you could not be chosen, right? But it doesn't hurt you to, to go and make your interest known. So now we have Taurus. Taurus is where Uranus is. And so it's shaking loose any type of comfort zones and it's helping you to be less introverted and more more clearly presented. And so you may be this Hayoka empath as well, being like, oh, everything's fine. I love it when everybody's happy. But ultimately, you've been taken for granted. And there may be friends that have no idea when things are difficult for you. People aren't really coming and assisting you. But at the same token, every time that they have an issue, they're ringing your bell and blowing up your phone and demanding that you help them and, you know, grab their hand and lead them into some type of salvation. And there's this, like, they want to do it like you do it, which is fine, but they're not you. Their path is not yours. And so there's a need for proper boundaries. Like the reason possibly where some of us are not making as much forward momentum here is because we're being, we're too heavy by the responsibilities that perhaps don't belong to us specifically. And so there's a need to really let people sort out their own business at this time so that we can concentrate on our own legacy, our own vitality, you know, and moving forward and being successful in our own practice. Like if they want you to come and make them successful, 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 what is in it for you? You know, if you're a mentor, are you being paid for your services or are you just giving all of your um, all of your energy towards helping others be successful and at the end of the day having nothing left for your own promotion literally self-care no no um, shocker that that one comes out now we have give and take sharing overcompensation inequality win-lose situation. So I'm feeling that you are really feeling on the losing end with things, which is only partially an illusion because I sense that there are situations that accidentally you were giving your power over to these situations, giving your energy over because you wanted to support and help. But then on the other side, it's like you didn't want to be the one who's like, well, what's in it for me? But if there is nothing in it for you, then that is somebody not understanding what energetic exchange demands on the karmic level. And people can't take from us karmically without us on some level giving it away. And so if we've accidentally given something away, or if it's been stolen from us, it's time for us to take back that power yeah, okay, so I'm seeing bored easily and compromise, choose your battles, yield and share. Instead of getting upset about even the words that I'm saying, um, because I think that some of you are like, you don't understand this and this. And it's like, okay, I, I, I can't understand, but neither can they. They want something, and so the human nature is to say, hey, I want this. Can you help me? 
So if this person has mother issues, they don't know how to nurture their own selves. They're leaning on you and your energy to support and to embrace them and to tell them it's going to be okay and to tell them, am I doing it okay and how do I do it and all of these things. And it's really, uh, it's sapping your energy. You're bored of this. You're ready to do something else. But it's going to, instead of getting upset or shutting down or withdrawing or cutting them off, if they're a good friend, um, oh, it's time for us to communicate more effectively, to collaborate and say, you know, you got a lot of skills. Um, what are we going to barter with? You know, and I was just seeing this. The only difference between a friend and a foe is you have decided where love can grow. There isn't a soul on this planet that doesn't crave for your approval, whether that's romantic or otherwise, whether it's a, a copycat friend or ex-lover, uh, they are, they're very enamored of your energy and vitality and they want to figure out how you do it. So let's close this out with an oracle message from the Whispers of the Ocean. We've got let your personality shine, number 33. There's a lot here. And in order to caretake for our vitality, we need to have proper boundaries and self-care and, and balance. Balance, balance, balance. You have something that nobody else does that makes you who you are. So stop comparing yourself to others or them to you and allow your uniqueness to truly shine through in this situation. Remember, I was talking about that copycat energy and how they're doing it differently than me and how I'm choosing for how I choose to organically grow my, my following or not. So again, don't be afraid to ask for it. You know, if this is meaningful for you, uh, I ask that you help me to gain a following as well and, and put your, your like, share, subscribes, hit that bell for the notification because otherwise the algorithm just hides the complexity of the messages and, and will only feed you the, the stuff that is dime a dozen. Oh my gosh, I just shuffled and the same things on the bottom. You do it the way that no one else can do. And there is something here that is for you to develop. And so stop giving it away all for free and make sure that you harness that capacity and energy for yourself. And once you have that reclaimed energy, you will be radiant and you will be the star that you are ready to be. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining today. I hope you were able to get some good messages. It says, look at the underbelly here. Be sure that you're using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider taking some time to organize yourself, make a plan, or to perhaps work diligently on a new project that you've been working on that could use some fine tuning. Absolutely. There's some kind of reevaluation or gestation of what's to come in, the, in this time. So... Yeah, I'm excited for you as you move through this time, recollecting your energy and your mojo. So take good care of you, and we'll see you again next time, folks. Bye.